a moving funeral service for the man best known for his humility and his passion for education. Dr. Ngobane was honored with a special provincial funeral. Born in Inchanga, west of Durban, he was a devoted Christian. Ngobane served as chairperson of various boards, including the SAPC and ESCOM. He recently testified at the state's capture inquiry for his alleged links with the Gupta associate Salim Essa. Ngobane was a member of the Black Consciousness Movement student wing and a friend of Steve Bigo, whom he studied with at St. Francis College in Durban. As a young doctor working for the Red Cross during flooding in Guazulu Natal, he built a makeshift raft using a door and other bits of debris to rescue a family trapped in a house, living up to his oath to preserve life. As a family, we would like to thank all frontline workers of this country, as well as send our condolences to the medical fraternity for your loss. In all these praises, our Cholayo, Tina going forward, zoomed in, how are we going to reflect? If it's a reflect on Goguti, not Goguti, by the principle that he lived by, Yoguti, you must always apply yourself. Mbomvu came from humble beginnings. Gubane served as SA ambassador to Japan from 2004 to 2008. He was the recipient of the prestigious Japanese Order of the Rising Sun for his contributions in cementing relations for both countries. Gubane was appointed by late former president Nelson Mandela as the country's first arts and culture minister in 1994. He later served as Premier of KwaZulu Natal from 1997 to 1999. Gubane is credited for playing a significant role in peace talks between the IFP and the ANC in the early 1990s. Times of violent tensions in the province between the ANC and the IFP, Dr. Ngubane's reputation grew as a moderate and a conscience of permanent peace within the ANC and working with the ANC and the IFP together. It was empty that a senior member of the ANC described Dr. Ngubane as, and as he said, I quote, he has an unsettling appetite to get to the crux of the matter with uncanny speed and accuracy, close quote. It was this ability that in 1994, President Nelson Mandela rewarded when he appointed him to be the first Minister of Art, Culture, Science and Technology. Dr. Nguban was always looking beyond healing the ailing and the suffering people of our country. But he always wanted to heal the nation itself from and against racial inequality and injustice of the time. Ngubane leaves behind his wife and four children. Vusi Kumalo, SAPC News, Durban.